Good morning, everyone. I'm Craig. I'm Mel. And we're with Love in This World. And as you can see, we have just entered the Magic Kingdom. It's going to be a full, hot day here at the Magic Kingdom. There's a lot of people for the holiday weekend. We're excited to get through all the rides. I'll show you the crowds, and we're going to have a great time. Let's go. So not too bad here as you enter the Magic Kingdom. We're going to get our first look at Cinderella's Castle since the new paint scheme. And there it is in all its glory, Cinderella's Castle. What a beautiful day here at the Magic Kingdom. Uh, the castle's looking phenomenal. Everybody's on their way to their destination. I think we're going to start off going to, uh, let's go to Tomorrowland first. So I will let you know that for timing purposes, it's about 8.30 in the morning and uh, we're already in the park a good portion. We're just about entering the hub at Cinderella's Castle and there's people spread throughout the park. So uh, the posted time was to open at 9 a.m. Looks like the park's open a little earlier than that. Uh, just gives us extra time to enjoy some more rides. Nobody's really following us into Tomorrowland either. We're kind of going into uncharted territory here. Hey Mel, where are you headed? Buzz Lightyear. The only thing that's not moving is the thing that never stops moving, uh, the people mover. There's nobody here, so it looks like it's gonna be a, a walk on for us. We're coming, Buzz. That's the guy we're looking for, Zuri. The robotic army is stealing crystallic fusion power cells. Without those cells, we'll we got you, bud. A little empty. Okay, it's really empty. After Buzz. Bumper cars. Well, I don't think we're gonna be bumping, but car sounds like a good plan. Let's go, bud. So heading towards Space Mountain looks like that's about a five-minute wait from here. For some reason, Tomorrowland Speedway is not open. Well, that's something you don't see every day. I do see the cast members gathering over there, so uh, looks like it will be opening a little bit later. But for now, the cars are in the pits. I think I found the people all in line at Seven Dwarf Mine Train. Time to fly on Dumbo. Interesting detail uh, in the walkway leading up to the ride, they actually have peanuts uh, embedded in the walkway. I think this used to be a play area inside here uh, for the longer waits, but unfortunately, uh, due to the COVID and all the touching, that has been closed. What are you getting ready to ride? So this is a first, this is our own Dumbo ride. Uh, literally no other guests on this ride. Dumbo, let's get this show on the road! If you have motion sickness, I probably wouldn't watch this part. 
So this area of the park is still extremely empty. Uh, over at Dumbo, the Big Top Souvenirs is still closed. Uh, so is the Splash Station. So uh, Barnstormer is operating and so is Dumbo as you just saw. Uh, but other than that, this area is pretty quiet. We're now going to enter uh, the newer section of Fantasyland, headed towards Little Mermaid Gaston's Tavern, which has just recently opened, and toward Beast Castle. But first, we're going to make a stop at the Little Mermaid. Ariel, good morning to you. Oh, he's excited to see us this morning. You, you good humans have been pointing these out and now to... Hello there, my friends. You're about to go under the sea with Ariel. I'll make you human if you give me your voice, she says. And Ariel gets all flubbusted and go to a seaside We have now gone under the sea. say I'm pleasantly surprised uh, yet that the park is this empty. Um, probably a lot of the people are hitting up Thunder Mountain or Splash Mountain. Uh, but over here in the new Fantasyland area, it is empty. Even Gaston's Tavern has a minimal wait, which is good because uh, normally it seems like the wait is out the door. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is good. Uh, we got couple rides accomplished so far and uh, looks like we're gonna get on plenty more. I will mention that Enchanted Tales with Belle has not reopened yet. Um, still closed. No uh, ETA on reopening of Enchanted Tales with Belle. So this area of the park is usually a pretty big bottleneck that runs from uh, Peter, the Pan, uh, Peter Pan and It's a Small World all the way down uh, to Haunted Mansion, it's usually extremely busy through there. Now there's more people in this section of the park than uh, Tomorrowland and Fantasyland. Uh, however, this is still empty in comparison to a normal day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the backside of Castle. That gold really, really pops. I like it. I like it. And here's a quick public safety uh, message for you. Before trying to pull the sword from the stone, make sure you sanitize. However, I don't know how that will affect grip. But it's worth a shot. Stay safe. So the little guy absolutely loves the carousel. Uh, so who are we to deny him from getting a chance to ride it? Let's see if we can find him as he comes around. Here he comes. So one thing to be aware of uh, with the social distancing uh, cues and the markers, uh, parties are spread out a lot more than normal. So we are way back here uh, for Peter Pan. 
I mean, we're right across from the tangled bathrooms and haven't even gone to the inside yet. Uh, but it still says 15 minutes, uh, just because, once again, when every party spread out six feet, it really extends the queue. And they're expecting heavy crowds today, as they have the line going all the way down to right outside the Haunted Mansion. So in this queue, you actually walk through uh, the children's bedroom. So we're almost there, and I'd say it's been maybe seven minute wait, eight minute wait at this point. Uh, so for how far the line is out, don't let them scare you as uh, the lines look worse than the wait times actually are. Now we're on the ride. Now if only we had some pixie dust to make this thing fly. Oh, there it is. Hello everyone in London. Get him, Peter. Yes. Peter was victorious. Straight from the Peter Pan, we go to It's a Small World, minimal weight. And we begin our journey into It's a Small World. You can see into the Pinocchio house from uh, here. For those of you wondering about social distancing, uh, they're basically utilizing two rows of the boat. Basically the front row and uh, the back row. Stepping out from It's a Small World, uh, looks like the lines themselves are starting to get longer. The uh, walkways, still not terrible. So we're getting in line here at the Haunted Mansion. The lines all the way back here, it says 35 minute wait. But we're gonna, we're gonna wait and see, see how long it really is. This is new. Uh, this is the queue for the Haunted Mansion actually headed down along the water here where the ferry boat usually docks. So far our wait has been about five to six minutes and we're just about ready to head inside now. So we're almost on the ride and I know it's a little dark uh, but one thing that is different is they got rid of the uh, portion of the beginning inside the stretching room. Uh, so now it's just you get inside and you walk straight to your vehicle. So let's hop on in one of these doom buggies and find us some goats. Oh, 
got off the Haunted Mansion, um, that wait time that they had posted of 35 minutes wasn't even close. It was literally five to six. The line was a little intimidating, uh, just based on how far it stretched and where it wrapped around to, but we got right on. Um, once again, as I mentioned earlier, the stretching room is no more. They got rid of that and it's basically you get inside, you jump right on your dune buggy and off you go. So great time, loved it. On to the next. So we're making our way through Frontierland over to Adventureland. Uh, Frontierland itself is pretty sparse with the crowd. Uh, most of the people are actually in line at uh, Splash Mountain and Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Just check the app. It looks like both those have around a 45, 50 minute wait, um, which I'm not surprised, I'm not surprised at all. But we're gonna head over to Adventureland, uh, possibly jump on Aladdin's magic carpet and you know check out the, the wait time there at Pirates of the Caribbean. All right, so we're getting ready to go flying here on Aladdin's carpet. Uh, we want to avoid the camel spitting at all costs because uh, we don't need to get soaked. Or maybe we do. Once again, if you get motion sickness, I suggest you not watch this part. Uh, beautiful view over Adventure Land, towards the treehouse, and the camel. And that's the camel that spit on me earlier. Yeah, the lines for these different rides are getting extremely long. Uh, Pirates is actually outside and halfway back to where the stroller parking used to be. And if we come down here and look at the Jungle Cruise, which always has a long line, uh, looks like the wait time is showing about 50 minutes. But as you can see, that is a pretty long line. A pirate's life for us. 25 minutes. Let's see if it's really 25 minutes. So the posted time was 25 minutes. We're at about 8 minutes and we'll be getting on here in I'd say less than a minute at this point. But this is a pretty cool view. Don't be chicken. Swim with Davy Jones. Don't tell him, Carlos. Don't be chicken. See? Listen to your wife. Very photogenic. <laughs> Located up there is Club 33, an exclusive club um, that you have to be a member of to get up there. It seems like they have one in every park now. Uh, the one here at the Magic Kingdom is located all the way up there. And it looks like there's actually a line to get into Club 33. Since there's no Festival of Fantasy Parade uh, every day, they now have these special kind of unplanned, untimed uh, walkthroughs uh, on the parade path. They have uh, cavalcades and now they also have the Walt Disney World band coming through. So let's, let's catch them as they walk by. You're familiar with Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. We have the hot dog song. I 
personally, I, I miss the parades, but I really like the special cavalcades and the, just the special moments uh, of just seeing the characters and the band just stroll along the parade route. Uh, it makes for a good atmosphere because you just never know what you're going to see next. And you don't have to sit on the sidewalk and wait for 45 minutes. Yeah, well, that, that's another thing because I mean, I know a lot of times people will get to a spot and they will park it for 45 minutes to an hour. Um, with like a minute to go, somebody else will come up and stand in front of you. Um, so this is nice. We can just kind of be walking along and they just come out and perform. So we're headed back to Tomorrowland. Uh, there's the new sign. And I say new, I'd say it's a couple months old at this point. Uh, but that is the new Tomorrowland sign. What do you guys think? Do you like this one better or do you miss the old one? So I'm currently just waiting uh, for Mel and Connor to go on the teacups. Uh, posted wait time was about 20 minutes. Once again, it looks like they've only been waiting about two and they're basically the next ones to get on there. So my recommendation is do not let the wait times or the long lines scare you uh, into not going on the attraction because the wait times and the lines definitely look worse than what they are. And there they are. They got on after, I'd say, a total of 10 minutes. Uh, so not a long wait time at all. Connor's waving. He's excited. He's ready to go. He definitely doesn't like to spin like some of them. So we're getting ready to go on Tomorrowland Speedway. As you saw earlier today, it wasn't running. Step and running now, uh, pretty minimal weight. Connor, are you excited to ride on the cars? I'm gonna bump into everything. Yeah, you're gonna bump into everything. That's what I was afraid of. Excuse me, sir, do you have a license? What am I in for? Whoa! Oh. oh, you want to wave to the people at home? Right here. Say hi, people at home. Hi, people at home. <laughs> Over this barrier here, you can see the construction, Connor. Please grab the wheel. <laughs> Tell them to speed up up there. Speed up! Say go faster. Uh, so this was definitely not the smoothest ride. Uh, seems that he enjoys making the car bump. But I absolutely love doing this with him. It's one of those moments that you get some father-son time and it's a ride he enjoys. So I definitely go on this every time that I can with him. Uh, just about the end of it. So we'll see you on another one. So as I mentioned earlier, the same way we saw the band, here's one of these pop-up character experiences. So it looks like joining us will be our friends from the Hundred Acre Woods, Rabbit, Eeyore, and Piglet. And they're on the beautiful Walt Disney trolley, the Main Street trolley, pulled by this beautiful horse. And they're gonna come right up to us here. A rabbit and there's piglet and as you can see bringing up the caboose is eeyore hi eeyore and here is another cavalcade of the princesses led by merida rapunzel and tiana And even the country bears come out to play. Looks like they had a great spot for the cavalcade. It's like Big Al and uh, I can't remember what his name is. Something Lips. 
Let's see if we can get a wave. Hi, Big Al. We did, we did get a wave. Mm. Here they come. And there they go, into the briar patch. So that concludes a great morning and mid-afternoon here at the Magic Kingdom. Uh, I think the crowds were heavier than what we have seen, uh, but it is a holiday weekend. However, compared to a normal summer day, I don't think it was as heavy as that time. Would you agree? I would agree. Yeah. I think we got on a lot of the rides. Uh, we got to see a lot of things. Uh, it is extremely hot, so make sure if you come during this hot period that you uh, take a lot of breaks, drink plenty of fluid, and just enjoy the time. And don't be scared of the long lines or the high wait times, because I'd say every ride, uh, the wait time was much less than what the posted time was. We definitely get to the park early. Yeah, I agree. Us getting to the park by about 8.30, so about a half an hour prior to the opening, uh, was, was clutch. We kind of just could go from ride to ride and just walk right on, which was uh, incredible. So I think we're going to go get some air conditioning, maybe some lunch, and just enjoy the rest of the day. So if you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And as always, be on the lookout for new videos. Join us next time while we show you why we are loving this world. Bye, everyone.